Our Ice Aged Adventure continues now on Discover Wisconsin. Known for their lakefront activities like stand up paddle boarding, sailing, and surfing, yes, even surfing, Sheboygan's water recreation may be unequaled. Well, today we're venturing a little more inland and seeing what we can discover on the 28 and a half miles of trail that make up Sheboygan County's portion of the Ice Age National Scenic Trail. So one of the outdoor activities that you might have heard of is called geocaching. It's like a scavenger hunt where you have to find a stash that's hidden somewhere in nature. Well, the Ice Age Trail Alliance has developed a similar program. So today we're gonna learn a little bit more about cold caching. Dolly, we have an absolutely beautiful day here in this gorgeous area of the Ice Age Trail. It sure is. We're here in Sheboygan County near the Butler Lake area. And this is one of 50 sites where you can do some cold caching along the Ice Age Trail. In other words, you're finding geological treasures along the Ice Age Trail. Oh, that sounds fun. Why did the Alliance decide to develop the program? Well, one of the main reasons, of course, is to bring more visitors to the trail, but also to promote public, public awareness appreciation and understanding of Wisconsin's glacial landscape. And I understand that you can collect some pretty neat patches just from finding more caches, is that right? You sure can. Um, this is a series of patches that you can earn, starting with the snowflake level, which is finding three cold cache sites representing at least two different features, building on up from a snowflake to a blizzard, a fern, an ice cap, and finally to a glacier. And a glacier is finding 25 cold cache sites representing at least 20 different features. Well, I was ready to learn just how easy it is to cold cache. Dolly explained that you start by finding a list of sites online with directions and questions to answer. Our cache was right here at Butler Lake in Sheboygan County, so we quickly got started. Once we found the first coordinates, we answered a simple question from the website with the answer that was on the sign. See how I did by watching a bonus video of my cold caching adventure on discoverwisconsin.com, just under the Ice Age Trail destination page. If you're up for more discovery, a short side trail off the Ice Age Trail brought us to the Parnell Observation Tower. A 360 degree panoramic view provides a clear view of forest and farmlands making up the county. And just a bit further, you connect to the old Plank Road Trail that connects Greenbush to the city of Sheboygan. Our final stop is just a jump off the trail system, Maywood Environmental Park. There is so much to do here. I know, So I know. what are some of the highlights? Well, for me, there's a couple of really unique things about the park, and I know I'm biased, but it is 135 acres. So that's one of the largest city-owned parks in the state, actually, which gives us six very unique habitats to explore, all just minutes from Sheboygan. And also, because it's a city-owned park, it's free. You don't need a sticker. All that's for free. For free! Yeah. <laughs> I tell everyone it's the cheapest water park in Sheboygan. You have the Pigeon River, ponds, wetlands, so gorgeous. lots to explore. Donated by Elwood May, the city of Sheboygan created this natural area, and as Rebecca said, it's completely free to visit. The Ecology Center and Store is open to learn and discover more about nature and the area. And even when the center isn't open, you're welcome to come out 365 days a year to hike, cross-country ski, or simply sit back and relax along the banks of a river. Yeah, there's some old ones. We'll give you maps, links, photos, and more from Maywood, along with other things to put on your travel itinerary on the Sheboygan destination page on our website. When we come back, we're finally reaching the Ice Age Trail's eastern terminus.